I've got another one! What's this, a newbie? Name's William. Ah, Billy. William. Any parents, Billy? Me mum, but she died last week. And you've been left all by yourself. <laughs> been fine in the streets till them coppers turned me over. To him, said I'm a... Vagrant, a street boy. You see, Billy? People don't want orphans like you crowding their nice city streets. So you know what they did? They made this for you. The workhouse. You'll never have to be out in them streets again. Welcome to your no. new home, Billy boy. And you Let best get used to go. it. Because there ain't no, no place please. else for orphans like you. No place else at all! <laughs> help! Somebody! Please, help! And, Heavenly Father, help us never forget that you are not a God that is distant. You are always just one prayer away. Amen. Amen. Such a joy to see you. Hey! <laughs> a snack for later, Jolly. Thanks, Mr. Muller. Those biscuits are the reason I line up every morning. Uh, beside your preaching, of there course. There you be, sir, giving away the little food you have. I'm sure God will supply Edna. After all, Charlie needs his supper too. Well, Mrs. Muller, what I think he really needs is a good bath. Come to think of it, I have a little time right now. But I don't. Thank you again, and uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I wish we could do more for children like Charlie. As do I, but there are hundreds like him trying to make it on the streets. We can only do so much. Speaking of which, we have a very full day again today. The printers are ready with their new Bible tracts. We need to mail the tracts to some of the distribution centres. Then, we're all expected at the church to teach the new converts. I'll be there, Henry. And did I tell you, George, yesterday we received six speaking invitations. Well, Henry, we can be thankful God is blessing our efforts to further his kingdom. I'm sure that if God wants us to do more for children like Charlie, he will make it very clear to us. I wish we had a roof over our heads. Do you now? <laughs> Cos I'm sure that can be arranged. Huh? Round them up, lads. Where are you taking us? Ah, hey, oh, easy, quick hey, <laughs> let me go! Hey. Let me go! No, no! Charlie? Taken to the workhouse? That's what some of the boys said. Oh, George, we have to do something. We have to get Charlie out of there. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Wagon! What's this? You wanted a roof over your head, didn't you? Well, this spike will help you pay for the privilege of having one. And Billy here, why, he's become an expert at using it. Ain't that right, Billy boy? William! You finished sweeping me room? Did you, Billy boy? Yeah. 
I said, did ya? Yeah, I did. Mr. Grimm! What? You have a visitor! You! Teach Charlie here the ropes. Teach him the ropes? <laughs> <sighs> All right. So you take the spike like this and separate the rope. See? You try it. All right. But what's it for? It's used on ships to seal the gaps. Twice a day, a wagon comes to buy it. It's supposed to help pay for this place, but a lot of it ends up in Grimm's pockets. I'd give anything to get out of here. Me too. Charlie what? Well, I don't know his last name, but he's a You don't know his last name, so... I reckon you ain't no relation. No, but our mission feeds him breakfast and... Then what? Sends him back to the streets to wander and scrounge and maybe steal. Boy's got to have a home, Mr. Muller. You got one for Coming him? Coming through! No, but... Then you got no business here. Now, if you please, I have orphans to attend to. Who's that? Just one of them creatures wants to help one orphan with breakfast. <laughs> all talk, like all the rest of them. All talk. A home for orphans? It's the only answer for Charlie, and others like him. You know how much work we already have. But housing children, finding and clothing them, taking care of their medical needs, their education. And making them feel loved and secure. It's a huge task, George. Not to mention a lot of money. How could we possibly do it? We can't. But doesn't mean we shouldn't. I'm sorry, but I don't follow. Mary, do you remember when we made a decision not to receive a pastor's salary from our church? We decided to trust God for our needs, so as not to place a burden on our poor members. And have we lacked? Never. Henry, the thousands of Bible tracts that we print and distribute, have we ever stopped for lack of money? Well, no. We have been tested at times, but in reality, God has never failed us. A father to the fatherless is God in his holy dwelling. He sets the lonely in family. It would be a very challenging work, but God loves these children, and I believe he'll provide for them somehow. As do I. And I. Then it is settled. Let's begin by asking for God's help. For we shall need it every step of the way. Hmm. Says here, the Reverend George Muller's opened a local home for orphans. And that's he it. Here. Enough sweeping! Back to the spike! We don't want the boys getting any ideas. Right. Of course. Muller said, uh, We do not ask uh, directly for donations, but trust our Heavenly Father for every need, knowing he loves each of these children, blah, blah, blah goes on to say they can only take in 30 orphans and expect it to be full by today. Ah! He's doomed to failure! <laughs> Imagine an orphan house! You boy on prayer! <laughs> the workhouse is the only place for these good-for-nothing wretches! Prayer! <laughs>
For kids like us? Where? It's got to say here somewhere. Well? I don't know how to read. Ugh, neither do I. <sighs> Ugh, swell. Someone's finally doing something for us orphans, and we can't even get to them. All we know is this. This Muller person's got room Wait, for... Wait, what did you say? I say, someone's finally... No, who? Who's opening the home? I don't know. Someone named Muller? I know who that is, and I know exactly where he lives. Really? <laughs> Only thing is, how can we get out of here? Wagon! This is Marjorie. Come along, my love, and let's get you settled. Marjorie brings us to 25 children. We still have room for five more. May the Lord bring us the children that are most in need. You want to what? Help fill up the wagon, Mr. Grimm. Anything to have a break from M. Spikes, even for a bit. Please? Hmm. Never let it be said. We ain't going. <laughs> Back it up. Hey, you. You and you. Help them. Now. Mr. Muller, here are some old clothes that don't fit my Jenny and Michael. Perhaps they can be used by some of the children you're taking in. Why, thank you. How very kind. Be assured they will be put to good use. We'll do the rest. Pleasure doing business with you, as usual. Come on, Charlie. Quick. Till tomorrow, then. Twenty. Twenty Wagon! Twenty. Hey, Hope. What's this? Stop! Open the gate! Open the gate! Quickly! This way! Right behind you! Come on! There they are! This way! I think I know where they're going. Come on! Hurry! Get them! He's coming! What? Ugh. Hurry! They're catching up to us! Almost there! <laughs> They're getting away! Oh no! Get off me, you fool! Right this way, children. Three more children. Perhaps the other two places will be filled tomorrow. Let us in! Let us in! Uh, Charlie? Oh! <gasps> Mr. and Mrs. Muller! Oh, my dear boy! You've... Escaped! No! They... Belong in the workhouse, Step not... Step back, sir. But... Are you any relation? What? Are you any relation to them? Well, no, but... Then I see no reason why they should go with you. This is their home, and this is where they will stay. Good day, sir. Ha! What are we going to do? I don't know, Willoughby, but this fight is not over. Oh, Charlie, the Lord has answered our prayers. Welcome. Welcome, both of you. 
This is... W William, ma'am. Well, William, Charlie, if you like, this can be your home. Hurrah! <laughs> Thank you, Mr and Mrs Muller. Can I have some of them delicious biscuits now? Oh, I think that can be arranged. But first things first, you wait right here. I'll get the water ready. Ouch! Ow. Children, let us give thanks for dinner. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for providing this delicious meal. Bless those that helped us with the blankets, sheets and pillows. Watch over each dear child. Thank you for the books that were donated just at the now, right time. try again. The, the, the dog is... the dog is running. Very good. And for providing that donation just in time to buy food. Lord, we have need of 12 pairs of shoes. Some of the children have come down with colds. Our water heater is broken and winter is nearly upon us. We need larger pots and pans. With so many mouths to feed, our need is growing. Some days, I confess, I don't know how we are going to make it, Lord. Please help us. We can't do this without you. More and more orphans keep coming to us. Should we open up another house, Lord? That way we can help more. The work is not easy and at times weighs on us, but the children are so happy. And so we are thankful to you, Lord. We are so thankful. Three, Willoughby! <coughs> now they have three orphan houses! I know. I walked by there the other day, and they're bursting at the seams. Bah! Willoughby, <laughs> you've hit on a genius idea. <coughs> Will you put that broom down? Well, the place hasn't been swept in months. And we shall fix that very soon. Come along, what? Willoughby. Where? To have a little chit-chat with Muller's neighbours and get our orphans back. Eh? Thank you for guiding us. It's not always easy, Lord, but we're always encouraged by your promises. Especially where you say, Come in! I'm sorry to bother you, but we have nothing to serve for breakfast this morning. You've checked with the other houses? I have. Not a crumb in any of them. It's never been this bad, Mrs Muller. What are we going to do? Have the children gather in the dining room. Oh. Children, let us thank the Lord for breakfast. What? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that you set before us. We have never lacked. And for that, we are grateful. Amen. Morning, well, missus. My milk cart broke down. And rather than letting the milk spoil, I wonder, can you use it for the orphans? C can we? Yes, yes, please! And... All night, I've been thinking about your work with the orphans. And, well, I hope you like fresh bread, love. Praise be! Or I'll never doubt prayer again. No, never again. How wonderful to live each day trusting God for our needs. It seems he just keeps sending blessings our way. I'll get that. And perhaps that's another. 
Oh dear. George, what is it? What's wrong? Our landlord wants us to vacate all three houses. I need to see him right away. I'm afraid I have no other choice, Mr. Muller. Your neighbors filed a signed petition. We all sympathize with your work, but the houses, they weren't made for so many people. But, sir... You have until the contract expires. Lord, it seems like all is lost. But you've always come through when we needed you. Children, time to come in. Please, for the sake of the children, show me what to... Ah, Mr. Muller. Mr. Grimm, I'm sorry, but this is not a good time. I know. I heard about you having to close down your homes. And how did you happen to hear that? Oh, well, never you mind that. I know we've had our differences, but, well, I just wanted to say that I think you've done a wonderful job with them orphans. Ain't no one can say the contrary. But fact is, you can't take care of every orphan in the city. Why? You'd have to have a building the size of the workhouse to house them all. <laughs> Fact is, you're a good man, Mr. Muller. But you ain't no miracle worker, are you? Hmm. Ah. Uh, Mr. Muller? You're right. Huh? You're right, Mr. Grimm. I... I am not a miracle worker. Your words have taken a great load off my shoulders. I have? Now, if you'll excuse me, there's someone I need to speak to. He's a strange one, that. We'll be back tomorrow to take them orphans off your hands. Come along, Willoughby. You and I are back in business. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm ever going back to the workhouse. But what can we do? Come on, Charlie. I've got a plan. Lord, Grimm's right to say that I'm no miracle worker. I've not been the one providing for each child. You have. For the first time in their lives, many of these children have a home. A place where they are cared for. Please don't let them lose it now, for their sake, and the sake of the many other children still out on the streets. Guide us. Tell us what to do. Please, give me a such. <clears throat> That's the answer! Thank you, Lord! Thank you! Are you sure about this? Do you want to go back to the workhouse? <sighs> well... Do you? Never. Then there's nothing else we can do. Let's go. Keep praying. I'm sure God will show us what to do. Mrs. Muller! 
Edna, what is it? It's Charlie and William and some of the other boys. What about them? I think they're gone. Oh, Mr. Muller, we're here. I can see that, but here for what? <laughs> Why to take the orphans off your hands like off I... Off my hands? <laughs> Why, Mr. Grimm, they were never in my hands in the first place. You were so wise to remind me that I am not a miracle worker and I cannot take care of every orphan. But, you see, God can. I, I, I don't understand. You gotta leave this place. And we are. All of us. What? But, but, where to? I am not sure yet, Mr. Grimm, but I've been up all night asking God to help. And I believe the answer to my prayers may be coming right now. Mr. Muller, I have not slept a week. All night I kept thinking about your offer to buy my land. Why? In order to construct your buildings. Buildings? buildings. All I could do is think about the little ones. And well, I came to say... You can buy the land, but... <sighs> but? At half the asking price. Half the asking price? Oh, thank the Lord! Did you hear that, Mary? I couldn't bear asking for the full sum. I've spoken to your landlord. You can stay until the first building is constructed. Oh, sir, thank you so much. Very much. Goodbye, sir. Does that mean that we can stop praying now? William, Charlie, is that where you've been? When we heard the house was closing, we did what you and Mr. Muller do. We've been praying. So, can we stop now? You can turn your prayer into thanksgiving, William. <laughs> God has answered our prayers. We're moving into a bigger place. <laughs> what a miracle! Oh. What an answer to prayer! What a wonderful answer! <laughs> George and Mary Muller went on to establish not just one, but five orphan homes, with the capacity to house over 2,000 children at a time. All without asking anyone except God for financial help and without ever going into debt. Every donation, however small, was carefully recorded and made available to the public as a testimony of honesty and God's provision. Education was provided and once a child was old enough to leave, they were placed in apprenticeship in order to learn a trade. When he turned 70, George Muller set forth on the first of 17 missionary tours that took him to 42 nations, where he preached to over 3 million people. By the time of his death at the age of 92, over 10,000 children had been helped in the orphan houses. William, or Billy, grew up to become a minister and eventually settled in New Zealand where he pastored a church until his death in 1927. Muller credited his faith to the Bible, which he read over a hundred times straight through. Be assured, if you walk with him and look to him and expect help from him, he will never fail you.